is the ability for <laughs> any man to achieve whatever he sets out to do using the tools of his great nation. Welcome to the American Dream. My name is Buddy Washington, and I will be your guide. All right, then. We'll be going on a trip through time to discover the magnificent future that lies ahead with you and your guns. Soon you'll learn just how guns will be able to help you live life to the fullest. And as a special treat at the end of your tour, you'll get a sneak peek into the wondrous Hi, gun again, factory smile. of tomorrow. Hey, what's we going on? We began with humble gunsmiths toiling away in their workshops. But a much grander future is in store for us. Press the green button in front of you, and we'll continue onward. <laughs> Are you playing a new game? Yep. Trying to get this thing going on here. Yep. Oh, there we go. All right. Got an echo. Yeah, I'm, I just this one dude. Uh, what is it? What's his name? Lewis Knight. Uh, what was his channel? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I won this on a on Lewis Knight's Why is channel. Happening? So this is a pretty cool looking game. We'll see. Yeah, I just barely started it. I was having some problems. With the uh, YouTube, it wasn't loading for some reason. So we're gonna hit this. All right, here we go. Yep, we got a trophy for uh, pushing the green button. Awesome. I'm gonna shoot something. Not, not gonna not, can't shoot Before yet. We'll need to perform a brief questionnaire. Oh, okay. Background check to gauge your eligibility to participate in the American Dream. What are these balances over gender. here? Uh-oh. Select your skin tone. <laughs> American red or American blue? Have no you blue. handled a firearm before? Oh, yeah. Have you been convicted <laughs> for any serious criminal offenses? But of course. Which is your dominant hand? Both. Are you currently on Sorry. any terrorist watch lists? About 20 of them. Also, a word of warning. <laughs> Please be aware of your surroundings while you experience the ride. You'll there be you waving go. your hands around a lot. So best not to play next to an ancient Ming vase. Yeah, hopefully I got coffee enough coffee room. Coffee. We want you to have a safe and fun journey. I'm playing on my Please bed here, so we'll see. Introductory video. Ah, uh, the home. The busy centerpiece of American life. It's where you'll find a diligent wife tending <laughs> to her family's needs. There we go. Take a peek inside. You might Yum. find her preparing her husband's favorite meal. <laughs> Caring for their beautiful True story. <clears throat> it is time to be an American. Yep, this is exactly how it is. Or even taking a little extra time to make sure everything's nice and clean. Yep. Meanwhile, the husband is hard at work providing for his family. Whether he spends his days as a blue-collar worker in a bagel factory, ah, that's how they make bagels. Or as a young corporate manager on the rise, it's his job to bring home the bacon. On the weekends, so this is husband to be does his part around the yep. house as well. This is like class to the culture 101, you know. And then finally settling down for some <laughs> well earned R and R. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And 
present a delicious home-cooked meal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The kind of family everyone should aspire <laughs> to be. With the kind of home everyone should want to have. This is the American dream. The perfect way of life. Yep, lights out. <laughs> Press the exactly. green button in front of you yep. to begin your journey. Sure, I didn't mean to, but I guess I did it. My hand was just right here. What are those balances for down here? Oh, what's that? I just hit something. You may have noticed that you're carrying a pair of Carter 1912 single action semi automatic pistols uh -huh. from the battlefield to your back pocket. The Carter 1912 will be the tool of choice for all your everyday needs. Let's see how the baby of tomorrow will learn how to use their very first gun. Before you can <laughs> use the gun, you'll have to load it. Move your right gun across onto the magazine. <laughs> huh? I don't like this. That's it. Nothing like the sweet sound of a magazine sliding into the gun. Great yeah. job. You're now armed and ready. Baby's hungry. We need to let mommy know. Knock on the door a few times to get her attention. Hi, you mama. did it. Mommy's here and look what she has. <laughs> Looks like you're out of bullets. Hit the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get more magazines. Yum, yum. Scrumbridge Farms Cold Press Coagulated Baby Feed is made from 90%. Excellent. You're reloading like a champion now. <laughs> oh. Baby's gonna grow up big and strong in no time. <laughs> now it's time for a little quiz. We want to make sure Baby is well educated as well as being a good shot. Oh, whatever that was, some kind of little Which skill one of shot these trophy. Is the triangle. You got it. Which one of these is the color red? Correct. Anything else to what shoot back What does two plus two equal? Good job, kiddo. Which one is your favorite animal? <laughs> What's the middle one? Interesting choice. How many bullets are there? Uh, the standard Carter uh -oh. 1912 magazine. Your best friend. What? Cat. You chose the cat. <laughs> I'll remember that. Now let's learn how to aim our guns with a bit of target practice. Oh. A gun without aim is a dangerous thing. So make sure you know what you're shooting at. Shoot down each of the targets. Sure. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, you know. Oh, shit. It. Keep shooting those targets. So manually eject your magazines. Yep. Perfect for when you want full control over when to reload. Oh, <laughs> Drop my phone. To eject your magazine, press the highlighted button on your controller. Oh yeah. Go on. Press the button as shown to eject your magazine. Full show. All right, hold on. Go on. 
press the button as shown to eject your magazine. That's the way. I can already tell that baby's going to grow up to be a star soldier. You've now mastered the use of your trusty pistols. <laughs> Remember to handle with care. Use them responsibly. Safety first, kiddo. Now I know it's fun being a baby. But you'll only fit those diapers for so long. Let's move on. That thirty four percent, pretty bad. <laughs> Press the green button and let's continue our journey. Do it. The perfect American family lives under three key pillars. Love, pride, and guns. Let's take a look at his core values in action as a father bonds with his child. <laughs> in the future, new technologies will bring families closer together than ever before. Smelly old baseball gloves will no longer be handed down from parent to child. Like a decaying shackle to the primeval past. In the future, every good god fearing patriot will get solid, refined, American boot steel. And eight rounds of pure patriotism in each hand. Where's my button? It ain't working. What are the rules in zebra baseball? Oh, I'm trying to show this way. bond with the American father, you must excel in at least one sport. Otherwise, you risk a lifetime of neglect, risk little league games, and eventual abandonment. Why is the baseball stadium what the fuck? the best place to be? Alright, let's do it. What? There we go. <laughs> bloop bloop. No weirdo. <laughs> oh, three of them. His paws made it tricky, though. That was the baseball's getting a bit harder. Get ready! Boom! <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder what Ned's up to tonight. It's Tuesday, after all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Miss him. Boop. In the past, Football, it was so. a sacred bonding experience to take children out hunting and teach them to use their first <clears> guns. <throat> However, since the children of the future will grow up with guns right from the moment of birth, family bonding can happen even earlier and in the safe environment of the home. Nice kids, kiddo. How do you know the pitcher is sick? Let's change things up. Yep. You have no idea how much self-control it takes not to chase that ball right now. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. Still got it, though. Why do baseball players make the best games? They're just warm games. enough, right? They're good at battery to home. <laughs> You're my kid, all right. Nice ball head. Just know you'll make a crack shot marksman when you're older. I guess the apple doesn't get shot down too far from the tree. High five! <laughs> That's a strong high five you got there. Don't want to break your old man's wrist, do you, hero? <laughs> As 
as you now see, guns can create new, exciting experiences for the entire family unit, making them even stronger than the families of Yastia. <laughs> they can all share here. in the Patriot experience and have fun whilst keeping everyone safe. An armed family is a happy family. Oh, yeah. Ball is dropped. state of disarray, reflecting the tumultuous emotional state of the average American teenager. It is a time when hormones rage, pimples bulge, and young Americans discover themselves, sometimes repeatedly. What's all that noise in there? Did you get into your father's <laughs> Yes. How'd you know, Mom? Forget that old relic. We live <laughs> in a post broom world. You don't need a broomstick when you have a boomstick. Instead of sweeping up like some kind of Neanderthal, use your guns to get mom off our back. See all those items scattered on the ground? You'll need to put them back in that place. <laughs> in it. Anything else on the floor? What's that thing over there wicking out? Oh, there's the thing. Alright, let's get this back here. What else we gotta shoot, dude? Squeaky clean! Even better than new! Those bullet casings scattered on the floor. That's called interior design. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's looking much nicer. Great work, honey. Let's get these curtains open and let in some fresh air. This window would sure make a great sniping vantage point. Here at the American Dream, you can use your hard-earned dollars to trial the latest and greatest in firearms technology. <laughs> First off, we have the Simpson M1905, a high-powered bolt-action rifle. This versatile tool was the standard-issue rifle for the U.S. military in World War I, and is still used to this day. Hmm. While only capable of firing one shot at a time, what the Simpson lacks in rate of fire, it certainly makes up for in range. All, right, All this and more can be yours for the low price of $9.99. Sure, you could spend that money on candy, but did you know that candy is a serious choking hazard that kills <laughs> hundreds of innocent children every year? No shit. Hold up. Before you can purchase that gun, you'll need to pass the mandatory three-day waiting period. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Just kidding. In the future, oh, right. we will have abolished all state and federal laws around new gun waiting periods. This means that all Americans will be able to get as many guns as they want, whenever they want. God forbid the government would make us wait to get our hands on something we were born to own. Congratulations! <laughs> the Simpson rifle is yours. Pick it up with your dominant hand. Feels good, doesn't it? You'll also need an extra tool to operate the rifle. This here is the Kruger 1898. This ludicrous over-engineered pistol has the stopping power. Ah, oh, the Kruger has just. 
Good thing we strapped a hand to it so it can still have a use. Those Europeans just can't do anything without us, huh? You can't see nothing in the snow. Or a pea thrown by an anemic child. Thankfully, our American scientists have added some modifications to make the Kruger useful again. It now comes equipped with a hand apparatus, allowing you to pick up and handle certain objects. To load the gun, you'll first need to cock the rifle. Use your hand gun to pull the bolt up and back. Once the rifle has been cocked, use your hand gun to pick up the magazine on the left-hand side of the cart and push it into the underside of the rifle. That's a weird Great. magazine. Though. Now push the bolt back into place and you're good to go. Oh, now we got a scope. Nice work. You're locked and loaded. Why don't we give our new toy a whirl? Let's go over to the window and do some shooting. I think those targets just insulted your mother. What are you going to do about it? Ranging up to 2,850 yards, it's the perfect instrument for tasks that require a little more reach. This model is also equipped with a premium high-precision optical lens for greater firing accuracy. No target is going to escape your sights with this baby. Okay, shoot now. <laughs> Remember, the Simpson must be cocked after each shot. Oh my god, are you serious? Got one bullet and that is it. That was ridiculous. I missed. <laughs> What else we got? Oh, I fucking missed that? Come on. seen you looking wistfully towards your crush. Knock on the window of the one you like and I'll show you how guns can help navigate the treacherous <laughs> pathways of teenage romance. Ah, Taylor. She's a real cutie, isn't she? Looks like you got her attention. Are you sure that's the choice you want to go with? Mr. Cinnamon, get out of the way, you stupid cat. <laughs> I will now hold up a question, and you can shoot to select your response. With conversation cut down to the bare essentials, chatting up your teenage crush has never been easier. Ah, oh, young love, such a beautiful thing.
Oh, we'll just hey, look who's got a date this weekend. Hey, hey, hey. All right. And that gun by your side, you're sure to win Taylor over. However, there's more to romance than cracking a good joke and having a clean room, as we'll soon find out. sacred tradition, which is why you're going with Taylor to the Independence Day Carnival for your very first date. Right. Look, here she is now. What's going on here? Just... So good to see you again. A wide range I've been of looking forward to for this you and Taylor week. to enjoy. Let's go check out the target shooting. Step up, roll up, come one, come all. Put your marksmanship to the test and win a prize for that special someone. You there. You look like a crack shot. Come on down. The rules are simple. You have five shots to hit as many of the bottles as possible to earn points. Capiche? It sounds like so much fun. Sure showed that pin who's boss. Nice. Nice. Nice shooting. On to the next round. You've sure got some stop in power. Lovely shooting. Great shot. Nice shooting. On to the next round. Whoops. That fell this round, looks like. This gun sucks, man. It's single shot bullshit. We ain't World War One here. Come on. Fresh commies. Ready to be dunked. Hey, you there? Yes. Dunk the commie. Cute date. Please, comrade. We must work together. To play this game, you'll need to shoot the target and dunk our comrade here into the drink. Thoroughly embarrassing him and ruining his reputation for being dry. Let's get to it. Please, comrade, we must work together. Yep. Carefully swimming. Take that, comrade. <laughs> Come. Where's the sharks at? <laughs> this is a gross violation of the price! Ha ha! Please, comrade! Please, comrade! Oh, there's the thing. I was looking for that. This is a gross violation of justice! You will read for this! There's gotta be another one around here somewhere. Communist. 
Candy. Hopefully you two will end up loving each other just as much as we all love America. <laughs> stage, we'll once again unholster our faithful Carter 1912 pistols. Grab them, and we'll carry on. Nothing automatic? Come on. <laughs> the teenage years, a time of curiosity, discovery, and growth. It is at this right age that American boys and girls begin to enter the workforce and learn how to provide for themselves. In order to become productive members of society, future generations need to be equipped with more than just high-powered firearms. They need the strong work ethic and a can-do attitude that defines us as Americans. You've taken right. on your first part-time job at the Heston's Family Restaurant. Home of the greasiest hamburgers made by the greasiest teenagers. 
customers walk into our restaurants daily to get that world-famous Heston taste. <laughs> world-famous. <laughs> taking you two steps closer to a cardiac arrest. Awesome. Cast an eyeball above the grill. That machine is the Patinator 5000. A state-of-the-art burger patty dispenser. Behind the scenes, a diligent team of farmers is preparing the minced beef for us to turn into delicious burgers. Mmm, yummy. Awesome. Shall we get started? Shoot. Turn the lever to start ensure that both sides of the patty are cooked evenly. However, you need to be careful not to leave them on the grill for too long, or else they could burn. Mm. Our master burger artisan, Earl E. Bird, is on the other side of the grill, turning oh. your patties into fast food masterpieces. Once each burger has been assembled, press the order up button so that your co-worker can deliver the burgers to our eager customers. If it were up to me, the patties would be made with fresh cat meat. But hey... Cat meat? <laughs> Serious? Secret family recipe from old Colonel Heston would be to take it from his cold, dead hands. Oh, yeah. But I can reveal to you today that the key ingredients are simply <laughs> a dash of bullet shrapnel and a splash of pubescent perspiration. The burger is coming! Mm, that is uh -oh. a tasty burger. Uh oh, uh, bullets. <laughs> Inverted. Oh, burn. Great burger. Keep it up. Thank Be you for going to the best of family restaurants. Serving that sacred stuff to freedom's boys. 24 grueling sweaty hours a day. Mm -hmm. That is a tasty burger. Doing <laughs> a fresh burger. Hi. Hey, what's up? Oh, burn it up. Hit it. Shit. <laughs> All right, flip it. Hit. Hit. Ready. Oh, that one's raw still. Shit. <laughs> wow, this is funny. This is a weird little game. Making burgers and trying to catch bullets flying in the air. And... Oh, you better order up some of this food. Extreme velocity. Uh -oh. Speedy day satisfaction. There's just a pull of the proverbial trigger away. Plain fresh burger. Thank you for dining at Heston's Family Restaurant. Serving that sacred stuff to freedom's finest 24 grueling sweaty hours a day. Uh oh. oh yeah. A little too far on that one. <laughs> Yep. Burger coming up. <laughs> I can see my reflection in Earl's form. Ha <laughs> ha. Slip. Oh, oh, oh. Get back here, boy. I know. <laughs> the queue of burgers is getting long. Hit the order up button to tell Earl they get those burgers 
Toasted one. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, penalty. Why is he dropping them? A couple money to get. Oh well. You burned a whopper load of dough there, Trooper. Remember, in America, the keys to success are a big smile, a big wad of cash, and a big go. You're most of the way there, so keep it up. Yep. You know what goes well with burgers? Freedom. <laughs> Too bad for hell, though. Due to his sub performance. Oh, there it is right there. I knew there was another one in here. Little stars you gotta shoot. Age 18. The punch has been spiked. At the end of high school education marks a point when teenagers are finally released from their shackles and become free to experience the freedoms this nation has to offer to its dear citizens. Mm -hmm. However, we must remember that those freedoms weren't granted to us. They were won with American bravery, steel, and love. This year's prom theme is the American Revolution. <laughs> Remember when the British tyrants gripped the throat of liberty and we bravely fought them off our sacred soil. It was pretty great, huh? <laughs> Just like our courageous militiamen and their brilliant leaders, you will be venturing forth into the field of battle to fight for your right to party. Awesome. You invited your high school sweetheart, Taylor, to the prom. And she said, yes. From what I hear, plenty of other boys asked her, but <laughs> she chose you in the end. Oh, hey there. Glad you could make it, partner. And there she is. Isn't she hey, baby. beautiful? You look pretty dashing yourself, might I say. How about we get a photo of the lovely couple? Give us your best action pose. Three, two, one. <laughs> Say liberty. Oh, yes. Say hello to my little friends. Meet the gummies. The gummies. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh no, it seems like the photo was too dark. Let's try that again with the flash. Give us another pose. Three, two, <laughs> one. Say, overthrowing the tyrannical British hordes. These little gun guys are funny. Dropped Beautiful <laughs> photo. You two just might make prom king and queen. Hey, let's go dance. 
Taylor's calling you over to dance. Never mind that you've never danced in your life. With your guns on the dance floor, you're sure to blow away the crowd. Let's have a practice round. Watch her and mirror each of her moves. Uh -oh. Raise your left hand above your head. Good. Now extend your right hand to the side. Great. That's the way. You're a natural. Practice time is over. Let's get to the real thing. She won't wait for you anymore, so do your best to keep up. <laughs> Come All on, right. snake. Let's rattle. Teach Why you don't you lesson. leave that Saturday Night Special over there and let me show you how real prom king dances. That nosebleed is trying to show off to Taylor. That son of a gun is cruising for a bruising. He <laughs> has some mean moves, but he doesn't have a pair of Carter 1912s. You there, I challenge you to a dance-off. Taylor, my dear, step back and watch as I raise your berries. We cannot let him trample on our honor. It's time to duel. Rum style. On the count of three. Three, two, one, dance. Oh, wow, that was incredible. You're the coolest. <laughs> yep. You shot him straight down. That'll teach him to mess with a certified gunslinger like yourself. It Work. looks like they're about to announce the prom king and queen. This year's prom king and queen are you! Yay! Hooray! I'm the we prom did it! king and queen. Congratulations! Like the heroes of old, you <laughs> have defeated the tyrannical rulers. Freeing the people and paving way for a dance floor where all men are created equal. What a lovely evening. Let us recap the lessons we've learned tonight. Firstly, you never know when tyranny may strike, and we must always be ready. Secondly, it takes strength to overthrow tyranny. And guns give us the strength we need. When our honor and liberty is at stake, shoot fast and ask questions later. You don't win wars with words. <laughs> you win them with genuine American blue steel. A 
as we forge onward towards the future, it's important to know where we've come from. Let's turn back the clock for a moment and look into the history of the beloved gun. <laughs> it all began when some Chinese folks discovered gunpowder and used it in these ridiculous looking hand cannons. I like to see you can still carry one of those. <laughs> Some stuff happened over in Europe, but nobody really cares about that. What matters is, the gun eventually made its way to the shores of our sacred land. Turns out rifles were pretty useful for taking out the Redcoats in the Revolutionary War. And so, from the freshly smoking barrel of a gun, the United States of America was born. In the years that followed, the American people flourished set about establishing systems that would position us as the most resourceful nation in the world. We invented high-precision machines that automated and sped up the rate of production of goods like never before. This process was called the American System of Manufacturers, but later was simplified to manufacturing. A steady income allows you to pay for basic needs such as food, shelter, and high-powered firearms. That's why you've taken up a job as a car wash attendant to help our fellow citizens keep their vehicles shiny and squeaky clean. Yo, bullet cola, well, my job favorite. We'll require a bit more firepower than we've been used to. Introducing oh, the Johnson submachine gun, oh, nice. first deployed in 1918 for use in trench warfare. This gun also saw frequent use by friendly neighborhood gangsters to uphold street justice. The fully automatic Johnson is capable of firing 250 grain bullets at a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute, making it perfect for heavy-duty cleaning tasks such as washing cars, trimming stray nose hairs, and hmm. garden maintenance. Nose hairs, I could use that. <laughs> Do it. The Johnson must be reloaded with our old friend, the Cougar 1898, which oh. I'm sure you remember from an earlier chapter. Unless the repeated sound of gunfire in close proximity to your head has turned your brain to soup. The Kruger's hand apparatus allows you to reload and grip the front of the SMG to stabilize your aim when firing. Awesome. First, hit the illuminated button on your card to get a new magazine. Yeah, now that's the way. Now insert it into the SMG as shown in the diagram. Sensational! Your gun is loaded and ready to <laughs> rumble. Nothing's gonna stand in the way of you and your Johnson. Let's test out this baby's firepower with a bit of target practice. The SMG is a fully automatic weapon, meaning you can hold down the trigger and it will continue to fire as long as there are bullets in the awesome. magazine. Try taking out all the targets in one sweeping motion. Yep, I did it already, dude. Nice work. Here you go behind. <laughs> now that you are acquainted with your new tool, let's put it to use. You'll be finding minimum wage. But the good news is, you don't have to work a minimum number of hours. The clients of the Winchester Car Wash are busy doing their part in the capitalist machine and can only stop by for a short time. Luckily, our trusty weapons can be used to blast all the dirt from their cars before they move on. 
If you can shoot it off fast enough, that is. But if you do completely clean a car, you'll get a nice pay bonus. In the industry, there is a technique known as tactical reloading where users will eject a magazine manually and reload early to anticipate future actions. This is also referred to as pro strats or elite skills. Don't spare the bullets. Plenty more where they came from. Great, that car is looking good as new. Excellent work. Looks like it's just about time to wrap up with a... Oh! Oh, God! Your uh -oh. co-worker has turned on the hose and it's out of control! <laughs> Here it comes! God, that damn is equipped with a 60 millimeter nozzle! Capable of producing a whopping 1,200 kilopascals of water pressure! <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but the only way we're gonna stop it is to... Don't let that green fresh water touch you! There's not even any sugar in it. Touch its bite with the strength of a water. You're the only one with a gun. Time to use it. Lives are on the line. Turn off that hose. This is such a waste of water. Just think. Oh we can gosh. bottle it in plastic and sell it to idiots. Watch out for the water spray. I was over here too. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a light shooting up there, that's for sure. It's glitching out. <laughs> I can't see it. Wow, it does not like over here. <laughs> Don't let that green fresh water touch you. There's not even any sugar in it. You did it. Mm. We're saved. All in a day's work. As you now see, guns are invaluable tools in the workplace. They improve productivity by at least 300% and can also be used to defuse dangerous situations. And I think the liberals wanted workplaces to be gun-free zones. Huh. No wonder they never get anything done. <laughs> and remember, the only thing that stops a bad hose is a good guy with a gun. Let's head to the next stage. All right, 21. These on the machine gun. to start wars of all nations. No, it's not me. It's love. You see, when two Americans love one another very much, there comes a time when they carry out the age-old tradition of the romantic dinner and <laughs> proposal. First, the couple finds a decent but affordable restaurant to wine and dine. When the moment is right, 
One lover pulls out an expensive piece of metal and asks the other for their hand in marriage. If things go well, they get married and live happily ever after. If not, then it's, it's quite awkward for, for quite a while. <laughs> Welcome to La Barretta, where meals are shot fresh out of Nonna Barretta's kitchen. Whilst the proper American diet consists of burgers and milkshakes, this occasion calls for something yeah, a little guns more for exotic. forks. <laughs> That's right. We're going to have Italian hamburgers and milkshakes. Awesome. So good to see you, dear. How was your day? That's wonderful. This is such a nice place you found. It's very <laughs> romantic. Buongiorno, it's me, Stevan. Welcome to Le Barretta. You two are looking stunning tonight. And I can tell by the way that you have been banging your pistols on the table that you are ready to eat. <laughs> Please take a look at the many options of our menu. I'm sure you will choose something befitting this exquisite occasion. The deluxe are a bank weed. I'm illegally obliged to tell you that the five people were sent to the emergency room after <laughs> ordering that. Okay. So you look like you have the constitution to handle it. I'll be back with your entree in a momento. While we're waiting, let me explain proper gun etiquette at the dining table. In front of you, you'll find several utensils, each for a different part of your course. Simply use the gun starting from the outside and work inwards with each dish, <laughs> smallest to largest. We want to impress Taylor, so let's deploy our best table manners and show her that you aren't some kind of ignorant savage. <laughs> Your entree, a fine Sicilian salad served with a sweet vinaigrette. Oh, in enjoy your meal, my amazingly attractive friends. <laughs> that was simply divine. Honey, can you call the waiter to let him know we're done? That's <laughs> all so time. I pray to the heavens that everything was satisfactory. Let me clear the table for you. In Italy, we use our hands. However, this is America. <laughs> All right. I will be back shortly with your next dish. I guess those Europeans are good for more than just feeding the gun economy. They provide a decent feed at the dinner table, too. Next up, we have a dish specially prepared for the noble patriots like yourselves. I present our speciality, the Italian hamburger. Please enjoy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I trust that a meal was just as fantastic as your passion says. <laughs> Wait. God damn it, we got the worst table in the restaurant. You see, a savvy American always sits in a corner to give them a full view of the area so that they are ready to shoot down any would-be attackers. They're offering a $5 discount for sitting at an unsafe table, but I'd say safety is priceless. The next dish is a Sardinian delicacy Kazur Marzu, perhaps the finest cheese on the planet. Wait, 
You're telling me it's better than American cheese? <laughs> Ew. Nice. By the beard of Lincoln. Maggots! <laughs> nice. <There> you <laughs> Horrifying. This is why you should only eat American cheese, which contains no actual cheese, but a whole load of wonderful things like patriotism, yep. reconstituted dairy, and rubber. Also, that real stuff is likely to give you weird cheese dreams. Oh, darling, you're my weird cheese dream. Okay, that's enough about dreams. Hmm, how can we get his attention? With the delight, see? You ran with a pure joy. I knew you would love it from the moment you deliberately chose it from the menu. Now I hope <laughs> you'll have some room. And if not, just wait for the nuggets to wriggle down into your intestines. <laughs> I will fetch your dessert. The final course of our signature dessert, served in Russian style, I present to you Nota <laughs> Barretta's famous spicy chocolate truffle. All right. The truffle is infused with the Calabrian demon chills, ranged from the ninth circle of hell itself. Their capsaicinoid concentration is so up at the charts that they actually melt the skull of skin. Consuming them can cause the bleeding gums, hallucinations, eternal third degree burns, and profuse rectal hemorrhaging. <laughs> now we got ourselves a game. You and me. Did he know? A one of the chambers in that revolver contains the trophy. <laughs> I don't have a gun in my left hand now. I will right spend hand. the rest of my days praying that you enjoy your meal tonight. Here is the bill, senor. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Ah, the yeah. <laughs> very good, senor. When I said I wanted a tip, I didn't mean one with the hollow point. I have a lovely <laughs> evening. Thank you for tonight, honey. I've had such a wonderful time. Things are looking good. Let's set the stage for the big question. Why don't you try picking Taylor's favorite song from the jukebox? There's a jukebox. Oh, there it is. That's our song. You really know how to make a girl feel special. Time to seal the deal. Uh, I'm Taylor. I believe my friend here has a proposal for you. Yes, I will marry you. I love you. All right. She said yes. Fire the gun in her hand and pop that engagement ring off. What are you doing? Hmm. I think the game bugged out, man. <laughs> so I can't get this. Hmm. Interesting. Glitched out. Nothing, it's bugs. 
<laughs> oh well. I'll come back to this later.